I'm Malcolm London, and I'm here today to teach you about how to play Battle Thunderworm, a game me and my family made together. It's a creative card game for three to six players and takes 10 to 20 minutes to play. Let's get to it. The box has two decks of cards, problem cards and word cards. Let's take a look at the problem cards first. Each problem card has a unique illustration portraying a problematic situation. There are over 50 problem cards, and each one is drawn by one of my family or friends. Some of my family members are amazing artists, and you can instantly tell what the picture is supposed to be. Some of the pictures, on the other hand, may not be immediately obvious. And that's okay, and I'll show you why in a minute. But first, let me show you the word cards. Each word card has two words. To start, deal each player five word cards. Assign one player to be the problem haver. The problem haver, of course, has to have a problem. They draw one problem card, look at the picture, show the other players, and describe what's happening in the picture and why it's a problem. If the problem haver can't tell what's happening in the picture, they should make up a story anyway. So the problem here is that this squid has inadvertently picked up my brother, <laughs> and he is flying away to uh, Spain, Great. and I don't want him to go to Spain. The other players then have to choose two word cards from among their cards and make up a solution for the problem. They then explain why their idea is the best. For instance, this player might try to solve a given problem with a plastic professor or a tickle storm. However, players are not allowed to use both words on the same card, so they couldn't make a friend storm or a plastic lunch. I think you need a Tickle storm, because um, everyone hates tickles, and that does not exclude giant squid. And he will definitely let go of your brother. But look at this squid. The squid is not ticklish. The only way to get him to drop your brother is to hit him with a jello gun. <laughs> <laughs> Once all of the players have had a chance to explain their solutions, the problem haver picks their favorite. The player who comes up with the winning solution gets to keep the problem card. This is basically how you keep score. All of the used word cards are put into a discard pile, and every player draws back up to five. The player to the left of the previous problem haver is the new problem haver, and draws the next problem card. Play continues until one player has collected four problem cards, and that player is the winner! If you run out of word cards, don't worry. You can always pick up the discard pile, shuffle the cards, and use them again. But this is also a great time to talk about the expansion set, Battle Thunder Words. This pretty little box comes with almost 100 new word cards to keep the game fresh and funny. It also adds 10 special action cards into the mix to make gameplay even more exciting. They have great names like Can of Worms, Worms of Endearment, or Wormel Detonator. These cards are pretty self-explanatory, so I won't spoil the surprise by reading them to you right now. And that's it! If you have any other questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. I hope you enjoy playing Battle of Thunderworm! Check out all of our family's board game reviews at www.theplayathomeorder.com or just check the link in the description. Bye!